Hi, I'm Callie from CRK Training Blog. In today's blog video, we are going to be working here with Fiona and we're going to be teaching her how to lower her head. So this is a really important skill. There's a variety of times that you're going to need to ask your horse to lower their head. For example, when you are putting on a halter or a bridle or if you ever need to medicate an area of your horse's face, it's a useful skill. And you can see with Fiona, um, she just arrived at the farm a few days ago. She has, I've not done much work with her in anything, including manners, as you could probably tell. So she tends to be quite uh, in your face when you have food. But what I want to show you is how I can actually still use some of the positive reinforcement through the process of teaching her to lower her head and we can be you know, teaching her to have good manners at the same time. So I'm going to go in and we're going to get started. As with most things, there are different methods that you can use to teach your horse to lower his head. The way that I usually do it is using kind of a combination of pressure and release and positive reinforcement. So what I will usually start with is I will usually keep one hand on the horse's halter to kind of keep their head still a little bit. And then I'll just lay the other hand up here. I won't usually squeeze or put a lot of pressure, but I'll just kind of lay it there. And I'll just try to stay with them if they move around. If you have a horse that maybe is a little more head shy or puts his head really far up, <laughs> like right there, just keep your hand as high as you can reach. Fiona is obviously a big horse and I'm not that tall, so I'll keep it here as high as I can get it. And then when she puts her head down even a little, then I'm going to make a, basically give her a click. And then give her a little reinforcement here. Now part of the reason that I keep my hand on the halter, especially as I'm going for that treat, is so that she doesn't learn to do any other behaviors like coming over and, you know, grabbing my shirt as I'm getting that food out. And she's got some other manners work to do just in general. I found that using this, you know, with kind of using the positive reinforcement and just a really, basically the hand just laying a very light pressure on top of the head, you get a lot less kind of anxiety behaviors from the horse than if you put pressure up there. And then also, by having the hand on the halter, I kind of end up usually having two cues, meaning that I can just grab the halter and, and ask the horse to lower their head, or I can put my hand basically up on the pole. And the key is just do your very best to stay with the horse when they throw their head, if they move their head side to side, because if they learn that by throwing their head up, you take your hand away or you lose your grip of the halter, then they're going to learn that they get a release there and they might decide that that's easier and better than actually lowering the head. And I found that this usually works best in a few sessions. So meaning I'll do, you know, like three, four, five minute sessions and normally they'll have it pretty solid within that time. So I'm actually waiting here because if, if she lifts her head a little bit, then they're more quickly to put it down if it's a little bit higher than if it's already really low. And then this is just kind of a general rule of using positive reinforcement or using food with horses, but I'm always um, making sure that her head's straight when I give her that treat.
And she already feels to me like she's starting to kind of get the idea of it. So we'll do it a few more times here. And part of the reason I pause in between too is I just kind of let her eat her treat, process for a minute. And what she's probably learned is there's probably times in the past where people have, you know, grabbed her halter to do something or done something around her head. And since she's a big horse, she probably learned that throwing that head up is a pretty effective way of getting that person to let go. <laughs> so that's probably why she keeps coming back to that. So there I didn't even have to bring the hand up. And this is where they start to, just kind of through conditioning, she's learning that my hand comes on the halter, then the other one goes up there, then she lowers her head and she gets reinforced. Now there I could have done a better job. I should have kept my hand on the halter. By letting go she kind of popped back up and came towards me. So we'll do it maybe once more, and then I think this will be a really good session for her. Oh, and again there. Could have kept my hand on the halter, but she's actually being pretty good as far as not bringing her head over. Okay, I think this is going to conclude our session here with Fiona. And I honestly have not done any of the head lowering with her before. I've only done just a little bit of work basically conditioning her to that click sound so that she understands that that, what that means. And I think that she did really well. I'm actually pleased with how quickly she started to get the head down. And don't be discouraged, like for example, when I would come in to do the second session with her, I would still expect that, especially in the beginning, she's probably going to throw the head first. And don't be discouraged when that happens, especially if they have a behavior like that that's worked for them in the past. They'll usually do it a few times, like it'll take a little while for them to basically realize that it's not going to work anymore. So you just have to work through that, be patient through that process and then they're gonna respond a lot more better to the new cues. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you're watching this anywhere besides crktrainingblog.com, go there, that's where the best comments and discussion happens. Plus, looking at this, there'll probably be more videos of Fiona in the future. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in the comments.